Welcome to Go For The Dough, PMQ's in-depth dough management and flour mixing series where we showcase great products, on-target recipes, and versatile techniques. I'm Brian Hernandez, PMQ test chef, and today I'm thrilled to introduce you to Pacelli's 100% natural VPN approved Farina 00 Classic Flour. Now this low moisture content GMO free product is a perfect building block for the classic Neapolitan style pizza cooked in your wood burning oven. And folks, that's exactly what we're gonna do today in this video. We're gonna mix the flour, we're gonna make the dough, and then we're gonna cook some delicious margarita and marinara pies that would make any pizziolo proud. Now speaking of talented Italian pizza chefs, let's welcome my guest chef for today. He's the executive pizza chef at St. Leo's Restaurant and Pizzeria in Oxford, Chef Marco D'Amidio. Welcome Chef Marco. Oh, thanks Brian for having me. Um, and thanks for uh, giving me this opportunity to bring a uh, uh, taste of Italy to our viewers. Um, uh, we do that today with the courtesy of a seven-year-old um, flower company, uh, uh, Polselli, which they produce one of the best flowers mm -hmm. in the world. Um, you know, growing up in Italy, I spent a lot of time in Naples, you know, uh, for different reasons and eating a lot of delicious pizza and uh, trying to learn the crafts and the skills of the, the pizzaiolos and one of the things that I uh, learned is that premium ingredients make, you know, premium pizza. All right, you know. that, I mean, it makes perfect sense. So why don't you impart some of this knowledge and uh, help us make a batch of dough using the Pocelli flour. Sounds good. All right, so how do we get started making this batch? Uh, we pour the water with the fresh yeast mm -hmm. in, and we add uh, a third of the flour in. Okay. And then we start mixing at um, uh, low speed. Um, after around three minutes, okay. we add uh, another third of the flour. Uh, and then when it's around six minutes of mixing, we add the salt, and then uh, the last third of the flour. And we finish make, you know, the, doing the mixing till like 13 minutes. 13 to, total minutes of mixing? To, yeah, uh, All right. and uh, that's it, that's about it. That's okay, great. Now as you guys can see, this exceptionally white flour has some of the lowest ash content on the market due to Pacelli's stringent contamination prevention measures. That's right, Brian. Most flour on the markets are not, uh, you know, this brilliant white. Um, that's because they have a higher ash levels. Mm -hmm. Um, so it only stands to reason that the cleanest flour, which has, you know, earned like a zero, double zero, mm -hmm. uh, you know, rating, will lead to a um, uh, better uh, tasting, healthier, you know, crust. Okay, just cleaner crust altogether. Seven minutes is up. Now we're gonna check on our dough, see how she's doing. Looks beautiful. Now we got a nice little dough baby here. Yep, that's good. Elastic. It's elastic, it's but it's not tacky. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have let our dough sit on the bench for about how long now? Uh, around two hours. Two hours, so it's two hours bench rested. You can already see it's proofed up uh, quite a bit larger than it used to be. So what's the next step now? Uh, well, next step, it's going to be uncover it. Uncover it, okay. So and then you can get the feeling that it is, you know, sticky but not sticky. Yeah, it's not quite tacky, but it does have a little pull, as you can see, the mm -hmm. fingers coming out. But that should be nice for rolling, right? Yep. All right. So uh, we're going to start cutting our dough balls and portioning them out, right? Yep. All right, folks, it's such a beautiful day. We decided to cook outside on St. Leo's mobile wood-fired oven. Uh, Marco, as a Neapolitan trained chef, is, are there any nuggets of wisdom you can give us about stretching out this pizza dough? Yes, there are. All right, well, let's get to training here. Let's do it. All right, so we're dusting this in a little bit more of that Pacelli flour. Yep. Then we're gonna go from the center towards the outward of the pizza, trying to keep the cornicione and form the cornicione. Mm -hmm. You don't want to mess with the cornicione too much because it'll deflate the structure and then yep. it won't cook right. That's correct. So you're using one hand as a base and the other hand to kind of stretch it and then you go mm -hmm. from clockwise to counterclockwise. Yep. We're going to dust off to remove all the excess. So we're slapping it out gently just to get rid of the excess flour. Mm-hmm. Okay. And there you have your... All right, so now we just got to dress this. We're going to make a basic margarita and a marinara pizza. Just a couple of the, the basics that you should try at any pizzeria just to see how their pizzas are. It's the base test for everything.
All right, folks, there you have it. Prime examples of what the Vaselli Classica Double Zero Flour can do for your pizzeria. So I guess the final test is just to cut it open and see what it looks like on the inside. Let's do, Brian. Chef. Oh, do thank the you. I'll do it. See, it cuts pretty well. Mm-hmm. You can see the cornichoni has got a great crumb structure, lots of air bubbles. Exactly. But it holds up really well. Yeah, it's not soggy. Nope, and you can see the leoparding on the bottom as well. Yeah, and on the side. Yep, the side. All right, so uh, I think it looks good. How do you like to eat them? Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of New York fold here. Well, let's do it. All right, salute, man. Salute, chin. Mmm. It's really good. It's very firm on the bottom, but it has a little bit of give. It's 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 cooked. I know, but it's and not underdone. That's exactly. It. I mean, that's the best way. That's the the, the real deal. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you guys for joining us on Go for the Dough. We've been featuring uh, Pacelli's Classica Double Zero Pizzeria Flour. I'd like to thank my test chef here, uh, Marco Demedio of St. Leo's in Oxford, Mississippi. Thank you so much thank for coming you, in. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, helping thank us. Thank you for having us. Giving us all the wisdom that you have. Thank We'd like to see you guys next time. But in the meantime, what do we say? Arrivederci and forni sempre accesi. Forni sempre accesi. <laughs> Good. <laughs>